All right, guys, here we are now with the uh, passenger side wheel off. And you can see what we're trying to get at here. Hi, guys. Hi. Hey, my number one helper. So as you can see here, we have uh, 17 millimeter for that inside bolt there. And if I'm not mistaken, it's a 14 mil for that one. I'm going to stick the impact on that and make real quick work of it. Nothing else has to come apart. Uh, once it's together, just a little bit of downward pressure on the A-arms there. And, uh, and that's it. And, uh, hey, Mark. Yeah. Come here. Okay. See how we're making the video there? Yeah. Do you want to just point that at where Daddy's taking that apart? Okay. All right. And just, uh, you don't need to show my face or anything. Just show what I'm working on here. Is it on? Oh, yeah, she's recording now. Oh, so okay. anyway, hold the nut with the uh, 17, 14 on the impact wrench, uh, wrench. Quick zip, off she comes. Nothing to it. Um, it's really cool. I had a little bit of uh, penetrating oil of your choice on that for a few minutes just to help. But uh, we live here in Newfoundland, Eastern Canada, so everything rusts. Depending on where you are, it, uh, it may look a lot better than this. Anyway, once that's off, you can push the shock up out of your way. You can cycle that down a little. And here's the lift. We'll, uh, don't show my face, show the work that I'm doing. They don't want to see me. They want to see the work. Yeah, so you can see here where it's uh, machined out and it fits right in there. The other one fits in the other side, same way. Get your bolt started. Get your spacer. It goes in between. Just like that. The other side goes on there. So what I do is I just start the nut on the back. Um, because uh, if you tighten it up too much, you'll have, uh, you'll have a bear of a time trying to get the, the shock bushing in there. So uh, just get that started and uh, put it all together loose. So you've got lots of wiggle room to get that together. And uh, start that other nut. So basically right there, I mean, your two inch lift on the front is installed. The only thing to do now is to tighten them up. Um, it doesn't give any torque specifications. So, you know, <laughs> I just, uh, like they say, tighten it till it cracks and then come back quarter of a turn. Uh, just make sure it's good and tight. You know, you're dealing with chassis components, so you want to make sure it's good and snug. So all I'm going to do now, I'm going to put, put a little bit of Loctite on the uh, threads and tighten it up, and uh, and that's done. So there's really nothing else to show you. And, and guys! Uh, hang on now, Mark. We'll, uh, we'll get back now when we start the back, and I'll show you how to do the back because it's a little different. Peace out. And guys, can I show you something? So you see that we have this big thing right in front of our garage. We are going to make that into a plow on our side-by-side. -side. And it's going to be really cool. Now you're thinking, guys, what? why are you putting a rusty old thing up there? Well, we're going to paint it and it's going to be really cool. All right, Mark, 